Hey there you guys, welcome back. Today we're going to do something a little bit fun. Uh, it looks like my Sansa Varia, this is the... Actually, let's get a little closer. This is the uh, Sansa Varia Bone Cell, I believe, uh, Starfish. And uh, it's growing so well. This past year it flowered when I was outside. So I've got this uh, old flower spike that uh, has developed and uh, has since faded. And uh, I've got all kinds of seed pods on it, as you can see. So let's harvest these seeds and we'll plant them up and see what sprouts. Uh, I think I'm going to need to, I'm trying to pull it off, but it's not pulling. So let me grab my pruners. We'll give it a trim and timber. Okay, so I got my, uh, my Sansevieria here. These seeds are supposedly uh, short-lived, so you want to really plant them as soon as you, uh, you get them to be ripe. And they're ripe when they turn orange. And uh, these ones actually started to shrivel, so they might be a little bit uh, older. <laughs> they might be a little too old. So we'll see what grows. And uh, usually you'll get one. If you're lucky, you'll get two seeds. Am I showing this right? You get two seeds in there, uh, but usually there's only one. And it's actually a good size seed. It's kind of like a little bean. So you want to take the, um, the, the fruit off of it. And you don't want to eat the fruit. It is not good for you it's considered poisonous so I think it just I'm not sure what uh, the effects of it are but uh, but it's not it's not something that you should eat so as you can see we've got the little seed here I've got a little bowl of water beside me and I'm going to just uh, rinse them off in a bowl of water so I'm just going to squeeze them between my fingers and just get the the skin off and the seeds the seed is pretty well the whole size of the fruit which is pretty crazy and we'll transfer them into the water since they're so short short lived like I said you want to plant them as soon as possible these are from the Boncel I think I tried to cross pollinate this summer so I don't know what's gonna come out of it I had a couple of sense of areas all in bloom at the same time I think I had the um, the fern wood started to be in bloom, and the the bone cell, and I think my uh, trifasciata was also in bloom. The typical uh, Sansevieria. I just want to rinse off the uh, the goo from the outside of the seed. That's why I'm rinsing them in water. Sometimes there's um, a chemical on there that stops them from sprouting. So you just want to make sure that you get all that that goo off or as much of it as you can and also when you're finished you want to wash your hands thoroughly just to get any of this goo off of your fingers because it's not it's not recommended that you eat this so uh... you don't want to risk putting your fingers in your mouth I'm a finger biter so uh, <laughs> I gotta be very careful so I got uh, looks like I don't think that this is a good one these ones are really hard Anyway, that's fine. I've got enough seeds to start myself off. I'm just going to go quickly rinse off my hands. Actually, no, I'll uh, play around in here first. Just going through, running them through my fingers, trying to get as much of the goo off as I can. As you can see here, it's a cute little seed. Looks like a little jelly belly jelly bean. Again, don't eat it. <laughs> Just clean them off as best you can. For soil mix, you can see the pot off to the side there. I've got a, just a small little two inch pot. And I'm going to put all of these in there because I'm not sure. The last time I tried to grow these, none of them sprouted. Uh, so either they weren't uh, ripe enough or they were too old. But I, I harvested them right from the, from the plant. So we'll see. Let's hope this time is different. Okay, so we got all the little seeds here. I'm actually going to take them out and put them on some paper towel for a second. And I'll wash my hands. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my, um, my soil mix here. This is just uh, the Pro Mix HP, the high porosity. So I use this for a lot of my plants. It's got uh, really, really great drainage. Uh, you want to have a, a soil mix that is kind of like a cactus soil. You want to have it be freely draining. But like anything, when things are growing as little babies, little seedlings, they require a little bit more moisture uh, than the adult plant might. So after I, f I finish planting these, I'm going to uh, water them in 
uh, so they're moist. And then I'm going to put them with my other propagates, um, with my uh, philodendrons and uh, the um, uh, Hoya and all that other stuff. Uh, they're going to get uh, some light, but they're not they're not uh, under directly a, a grow light, um, and uh, they're going to get higher humidity. So and also extra warmth. It's warm in the grow room anyway. I think right now it says it's 27 degrees Celsius, so it's really quite warm. Um, I'm putting these these seeds just under the soil surface, maybe about a half a centimeter deep. I'm just uh, spreading them out. Like I said before, I I didn't have success sprouting any before. I think I had one or two seeds to work with uh, when I did it the last time, so I didn't have uh, a lot of uh, chance for success. This time I have quite a number of seeds and uh, super excited to see what happens. So they're all planted. They're planted not far below the soil surface. A general rule of thumb when you're planting seeds is uh, the depth of the seed is how, how deep you should plant it in the soil. So if it's a really, really tiny seed, you're probably going to want it just to be lightly covered or not covered at all. Uh, maybe just a light coating of sand or something like that. Um, but as they get bigger, like a bean seed, you can plant it, a bean seed might be an, an inch or so, uh, you can plant it about an inch deep. So it's just a rule of thumb. And now I'm just going to water this in, and I'm going to monitor it. I don't want it to be soggy, but I don't want it to ever dry out completely. So we'll water this uh, probably once a week, or at least check on it, and see how it goes. And uh, we'll come back and see this Hopefully they sprout in a, in a few weeks to a month, and we'll, uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, so here we are. It's exactly a month uh, later. I planted these on January 1st, 2021, and today is January 30th, 2021. So, <laughs> they did get some sprouting. I'm not sure if this is all the seeds. I can't remember how many I planted. I'll have to go back in the video and check. Um, but if not, all of them, the majority of them have sprouted. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six here so far. I think there might be something here in the corner. No, that's a piece of perlite. Um, so yeah, uh, very, very good success rate. One thing that I would do in uh, in the future is not bury them so deep. I found that they started to sprout, and I had to uncover them a bit with uh, from the soil. So maybe instead of going the depth of the seed, maybe just very lightly cover the soil with um, uh, cover the seed with soil. So as you can see, they're looking super cute. Hopefully I continue to uh, to have success growing these out. Uh, I have very, very little success with, uh, with growing things from seed because I get a little bit lazy and uh, things dry out. But because a Sansevieria is a, uh, a, doubt, a drought tolerant plant, uh, chances are this is gonna grow very, very well for me. So I just have it off to the side. I just watered it yesterday, so uh, it's looking a little bit moist. Uh, that's okay. Uh, I will let it dry out completely before I water it again. So I do check on it weekly, uh, but uh, but yeah, I might water it every second week. Uh, so whenever it's ready. So this is the final update on this, and yay, we got some Sansevierias to grow. So anyway, show me what you're growing. I'd love to see what, what uh, you're trying to grow from seed. If you grew some Sansevieria from seed, I'd love to see what uh, what they turned into. These, I believe I took them from uh, my bone cell, uh, so a cylindrica, it's going to have a round leaf. Uh, the leaves on this one to start are flat, and then as it matures, it will start producing the round leaves, or the circular leaves. So, uh, so yeah. Anyway, until next time, you guys, happy growing!